Was George Washington a moonshiner? Stay tuned to find out. George Washington's venture into the whiskey business offers a glimpse into the entrepreneurial spirit of America's founding father. Situated at his Mount Vernon estate in Virginia, Washington established one of the largest and most successful whiskey distilleries of his time in the late 18th century. The enterprise began in 1797, following his two terms as President of the United States, reflecting not only his agricultural expertise but also his keen business sense. Washington recognized the potential profitability of whiskey production, especially given the high demand for spirits in the burgeoning American market. Welcome to Strange Lore. If you are a fan of the mysterious and unusual, please subscribe to join the expedition. Situated on his expansive estate, Washington's whiskey business was fueled by the abundant resources at his disposal. He cultivated grains such as rye and corn, specifically suited for whiskey production, ensuring a steady supply for his distillery. Employing cutting-edge equipment for the era, including copper stills and wooden fermenting tubs, Washington optimized the production process to yield high-quality spirits. This attention to detail and investment in advanced technology set his distillery apart from competitors and contributed to its rapid success. Beyond its economic significance, Washington's whiskey venture played a pivotal role in shaping the emerging American economy. By diversifying his agricultural endeavors to include whiskey production, Washington demonstrated a forward-thinking approach to commerce. The popularity of his whiskey not only bolstered the financial stability of Mount Vernon, but also stimulated local economies and set a precedent for future entrepreneurs. It exemplifies his entrepreneurial spirit, innovative approach to commerce, and lasting impact on the economic landscape of early America. Subscribe for more Strange Lore.